Hey Vikes, today we have a story on memes. I'm Cooper. And I'm Dylan, and SVTV starts now. Student Council is hosting a cookie, cram, and cocoa session for students that want to study for finals. The date is Monday, December 18th from 3.05 to 7 o'clock. The cost is $2. Tomorrow is the last day to order your Viking Brew t-shirts. Pay the bank $15 and bring the receipt to Miss April in W10. The Teddy Bear Toss is tomorrow between the varsity basketball games. Come out to Hayden with your stuffed animals. SHS Orchestra is selling Viking Pop Sockets. Get yours from $12 at home basketball games or from Miss Barnett in the band room 7th and 8th hour. We will find out how the wrestling team did after this quick commercial break. Interact is selling candy grams for a dollar during lunch through December 14th. You get to choose between three letters to send to someone. Thinking of you. Thanks for being my friend. Happy holidays. Get yours today during lunch. Topeka Tennis Association has scholarships available for high school tennis players. Check the bulletin for more info. Twitter Sphere has de determined that Friday's Spirit theme is Jersey Night. The wrestling team lost last night 51-21 against Shawnee Heights at their duel, but had some great individual wins from Dakota Smith and Landon Willard and Dylan Williams. Now over to Dylan with the weather. It is currently 38 degrees. Tonight it's supposed to be 40. For your three-day forecast, we have highs in the 50s and 60s and lows in the 30s. Today is Tori Kelly's 25th birthday, and there is 11 days left till Christmas. Now back over to your anchors. Hey, Cooper, do you like memes? Yeah, they are pretty funny. There's been some uh, Viking meme pages lately talking about students and staff. Let's go look at more into that. Meme, a humorous image, video, piece of text, that is copied and spread rapidly by internet users. As you may know, memes are pretty popular among people our age and have spread rapidly across the internet. In the past couple months, many meme pages related to Seaman High School have been created here. Some of them have been offensive and said mean things towards other students. To learn about the law of bullying, we asked Mr. Schmidt a few questions about what it really means to bully and what can happen from bullying. Bullying, it doesn't matter what form it takes, whether it's social media, in person, face-to-face, -face, email, um, any, any, kind of, any kind of bullying, doesn't matter what form it takes, it can be dealt with very severely. We, we uh, take it very seriously here at Seaman High School, and um, it can, be, can go all the way to expulsion if, if it was to continue. Each time, um, it needs to be reported. First of all, let me say a couple things about bullying. Uh, bullying is... Um, it needs to be an imbalance of power. So one person needs to be threatening the other person. It needs to continue over time. And um, it needs to make the person feel like they uh, are scared or could be harmed in some way. So the bullying is um, very specific. And so each time that it happens, each time someone says something to you, first of all, you need to tell them to stop. It needs to be something that you, um, you need to stop that explain to them. It can be as firm as you want, as, as, uh, as loudly or clearly, 
make sure the person knows that you want them to stop. Um, two, they need to uh, have repeated that. So once you tell them to stop, they need to do it again. If they do it again, you need, as, a, as a victim, you need to go and report that as soon as possible to the nearest teacher or administrator. Uh, so that way we can help you deal with the situation. That those steps are important. Tell them to stop and then report if it happens again. So once that happens, the uh, consequences for bullying start off with, with a warning explanation and then it, con it continues each, each time it was to happen again um, becomes much, much more serious each time all the way to the possibility of expulsion if it was to continue. Under the law of bullying, memes are hard to decipher whether it is bullying or not. We spoke with one of the counselors about what their opinion was on memes and how it is different from bullying. So when it comes to memes, it's kind of a, you know, kind of a gray area, I would guess. Um, really, the letter of the law on bullying, it has to be, um, you know, it has to be repeated. It has to be, you know, pervasive. It has to be that the, um, you know, that the person that's doing the bullying has some kind of upper hand or, you know, something on it. That being said, that's what the letter of the law says. Now, in my opinion, if you, you know, it's one thing if friends are doing it with friends and they don't really take it seriously and stuff, but how do you know what, when it's a friend and when it's somebody that's not a friend and that someone's just doing it to make fun of somebody? And I think if you do a meme and you put it out there for 500 or 1,000 people to see and you're putting somebody down, you know, it might not the letter of the law considers bullying, but, you know, that's pretty much, you know, crossing the line. And, you know, in my opinion, it is, um, you know, going too far. And you probably need to rethink that before you do that. So that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. I go there is some, you know, whether it's a letter of law of bullying or whether it's not. But, you know, there's also, you know, how to act in society and how to treat others. And, you know, I think that that's the whole concept of you know, bullying, if we all treat each other with how we want to be treated, you know, before you send that out, would you be happy if someone did that about you? You know, so that's what you kind of got to think about. Although memes are supposed to be funny, if you feel that you're being singled out or bullied, please refer to a counselor or a principal. Be sure to report any bullying and have a great rest of your day, Vikes.